Hi everyone, so if you want to know how to get from these brows to these, then just keep on watching. So I start by brushing my hair, like my brow hairs with a spoolie, and this is really good because you're putting all the hairs in the same direction, so you can see the skin, apply the like product better, and it just uh, like makes it an even application. So I start off with Anastasia Beverly Hills' Dip Brow Pomade in medium brown, and I'm just going to use an angled brush with that. This is Max 263. Obviously, I dip that into the um, product and I'm kind of like brushing on the direct same direction as my hair is. It's like kind of I'm creating different hair strokes. Not exactly, but same kind of concept. And yeah, you just want to go through. I started off with the middle of like in the middle of my brow. And then when I get to the top, I brush my hairs down so that I can like brush it down because that's the direction in which my hair grows. So I want to stay to the same direction as it grows. And then I work with the tail of the brow again just going downwards i have relatively straight brows and um i don't really change the shape of my brows much and when i do tweeze them it's i just tweeze the straight hairs i don't really fix the shape much and as you can see i did not touch the inner parts of my brows for that i'm using this brow and liner kit from the body shop and i'm just using um another brush this is obviously an angled one too and it's by the body shop I prefer to use a, pro a powder rather than a pomade or like gel or pencil in the front of the brow because I just prefer the look. I used to use the pomade in the front but I don't really like how it looks so I switched to this and just blend it in with the pomade. And then I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills' Tinted Brow Gel and this is in chocolate and I'm just coating that through my brows. And as you can see I don't cut my brow hairs so how I do this is I just like brush all my hairs up. Um, I wiggle like the wand just to make sure that every hair gets like a coat of the gel. And then going back in with a spoolie, I'm just kind of flattening down the like longer pieces and just making sure the shape looks fine. Then with Bobbi Brown's Creamy Concealer, and this is in Warm Natural, I'm just going to clean up the brows. So with um, Bobbi Brown's conceal Concealer Blending Brush, I dip just the tip of that into the product and then I concentrate it onto the arch of the brow but I do take it down the tail of my brow and then into the front. And to blend it, you wanna um, blend it downwards, not upwards because that'll defeat the whole purpose of um, cleaning up the brows because it'll go over what you just did. And to set it, I'm using the same powder that comes with the concealer and I'm patting it on. I'm not swiping it because if you sweep, then um, you're like moving the product and you're moving where you applied that concealer. I don't always um, conceal the top of my brows, but for the sake of the video I did, so I basically just repeated the same steps, except I didn't go right against the brows because I want like that more imperfect look with my brows. And when you blend it, you want to blend it away from your brows, so in this case it's up instead of down. And then again, just pat to set them in place. Here are the brows with no eye makeup. And here they are with makeup. And if you want to see this makeup look, I'll link the tutorial down below. Thank you for watching. Bye!